Oh, thank you for letting me have puff sleeves. Uh, you've taken possession of me, Anne. Uh, you do remind me of an imaginary friend I had at your age. Like my reflection friend, Katie Maurice? Yes. I henceforth bequeath her to you. <gasps> How thrilling. <laughs> I'm an imaginary friend that has an imaginary friend. Oh. Uh, you know how I'd like to get married, Anne? I'd meet him at dawn, in a wood, and marry beneath the arches of a tree, with the wind as a bridal hymn. Oh, that's tr just tragically romantic. Oh, but it's a tragically romantic fantasy. Is Reverend part of your reality? Mr. Mustard, Edwin, now Ewan, Ewan? I like ministers in moderation, but three times in succession is too much. Now, Herman, he would have been ideal well, for you Well, I know that Ewan isn't ideal, but I want children, Anne, and, and he does ease my loneliness, but uh, I can't marry anyone while grandmother's alive. What a supreme sacrifice. It's right out of a novel. I know something wonderful will happen with ours, but Maud, about my red hair... Oh, you know that we dye it in chapter, uh, uh, chapter 27. But I want lovely nut brown or beautiful raven black, not... Or... <laughs> oh. I'm glad you're assistant postmistress. You can submit your writing in secret. And no one finds out about the rejection. That won't get rejected. It's the best thing you've ever written. Well, perhaps I should have infused you with a little more modesty. I'm just telling the truth, Maude. I'm so excited we're sending it to the publisher. Why don't we take him for a stroll before we go home? Oh, thank you, Chester. Thank you for helping start up my firm. I'll make it a huge success. If I were rich, the doctors would pay attention to me. Oh, I will never be well again. No, he wouldn't. I don't think you will ever be. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is a nice welcome home. Everything about Ingleside looks so happy. It's splendid having our children where they were before the war, Maud. But now another war looms. My boy. Don't think about that. Not when, when you're finally feeling better. Will you write another book after this? Uh, I'd like to, but I, I'm getting a little tired. Oh, Gilbert, I really should have given you more to do. I'm just proud to be, cons be a consistent presence in Anne's books, to be partially based on Nate, and to be the kind of husband you might have liked to have had. I thank you for that. I'll see to the children, Anne girl. Take care, Maud. Goodbye, Gilbert Blythe. Uh, it, it all started with you. Maybe it should end with you. I'm paid thousands for your movie rights, and I'm constantly asked to write more, and I, I tried to write a Jane sequel, but it's you the world loves. Stuff and nonsense. It's you the world loves. No. You created me. Your talent. Your imagination. That's what people want more of. Read the fan letter that came in the other day if you don't believe me. Thank you for the simple charm of people, humor, and quaintness. For a wisp of fairyland, for the scarlet, purple, and blue. As long as you can bring delight into the lives of others, Maud, life is worth living. I thought you resented me when I didn't focus on you as much when I took you out of Avonlea. They're still good stories, and your fans love them. I didn't mean to keep writing about little girls, but they've been my audience. Maybe we remind you of the little girl you used to be. <laughs> that time when life was wondrous and colorful and tragical. 
maybe all along you've been trying to connect to that part of yourself to little Maudie. Well, I, I haven't been little Maudie for decades. Yes, you have. She gave you your gift of words. She continues to inspire you. And she never, ever left you. Oh, Anne. You little red-headed monkey. You are responsible for so much.